Greetings, loves. Greetings. Welcome to another edition of Soul Alchemy. This is Akasha bringing you that alchemy for your mind, your body, and your soul. Now, guys, here is another banger for you, okay? So make sure you go ahead and like this video, share this video out, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and make sure, you know, your notification bell is turned on and everything so you can be notified of this and hopefully all videos that I happen to post. Now, guys, you may have heard of Legina Gold. Legina Gold is a young lady um, somewhere between the age of 26, maybe, and 30. She seems to be unsure, although she has birth certificate, social security guard, and a family she grew up with. But, anywho, she claims that she is the daughter of R. Kelly and Aaliyah. This is not Legina Gold. I'm going to tell you who this is in a second. But, look her up if you don't know the story. She got a lot of attention on social media she first went viral on tiktok then she came to youtube and she eventually hooked up well quickly hooked up with jaguar right and that was another story within itself now legina gold said that she began to have memories of r kelly and Aaliyah being her birth parents now some people have posted people who they say are Legina Gold's um, real biological family and Legina herself has posted paperwork to show that she was in a mental care facility um, by force because she was making these claims um, <laughs> of R. Kelly and Aaliyah being her daughter and some other things I uh, think not sleeping and stuff like that right so uh, she went on this whole, you know, press run with Jaguar, stayed with Jaguar right for a while. And, you know, as far as I know, she's still out here holding it down, you know, standing 10 toes down on the fact that she is R. Kelly and Aaliyah's biological daughter. She says that they even both, not together, but separately at one point, had her in their custody and I think she said she was last with her father so you know since that story I have seen at least one other woman who claims to be the daughter of Aaliyah and I've seen another woman who claimed to be the daughter of R. Kelly but I have yet until now to see another lady who says she is the daughter of both Aaliyah and R. Kelly. Now, this woman to me that you're looking at on the screen, she does not seem to look like Aaliyah. She does not seem to look like R. Kelly. And she doesn't look like Legina Gold. But she says she is the daughter of of Aaliyah and R. Kelly. Now, I want to shout out this channel. This is Atlanta Street Interviews. Oh, of course, it's in Atlanta. And, you know, there's a guy named Marcus. And he goes around and he interviews people who have very complex and tragic stories for the most part. And for the most part, also, a lot of them are homeless. You know, he sometimes does follow up stories. He posts their cash app, his cash app. And, you know, it's it's a cash app world out here nowadays. So it, it's it's wow. It's real wow. So he ran into this woman and um, I'm going to play a little bit of the intro. Something is twisted with her mouth. I'm not sure what that's about, but I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Let's see. <laughs> you never know what people are going to say in these interviews. So wait, so you're pregnant right now with triplets? Yes. Okay, um, and so you have nine other kids or is this including these three? nine other kids, and one abortion and eight births. Eight births? Yes. Um, are eight children still alive? I think so, yes. Um, are, are they all like in the state, like in defects type stuff? No, they're out of the U.S. Where are they in? They're in protective custody. I cannot show them. Why are they in protective custody? Because they have U.S. They had who? United States. United States. 
somebody's coming for them? They weren't conceived over here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. This woman says she has... She's pregnant with triplets right now. And I hope she's sober. Always. Not doing anything that could harm the children. Let's say that. Uh, she is, I think, homeless. And she's had eight births, one abortion. And she says eight of her children live... Over overseas because the U.S. was coming for the children, all eight of them. I, okay, all right, okay. I just wanted to make sure I understood. I know where. Islands. Right, there's a lot of islands. Which one? Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica? Yeah. Okay. So, did you used to live in Jamaica? My ex is Jamaica. Okay. And is he the father of all the kids? Yes. Okay. Were y'all married? Yes. Okay. Are y'all still married? No. No? no. When did y'all get a divorce? Um, 2018. Okay. It's about four years ago? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, how old is the oldest child? How young is the youngest? The oldest is 11. And the, the youngest, youngest is three. Three? Uh, a year old. I'm sorry. A year? One year? Yeah. Okay. And they're in protective custody? Yes. And they're not in Jamaica? No. Yes. They are in Jamaica? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, um, all right, let's just start from the beginning. So, where are you from? I was um, conceived in China and I was brought over to the United States illegally to Michigan. And I was raised in Michigan and brought to Atlanta in 99. Where was you raised in Michigan? Grand Rapids. <laughs> hey, man. Shout out that Grand Rapids, Michigan, man. Yes, sir. Shout it out. Shout it out. <laughs> you know, hey, I wonder. Man, shout it out. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna ask her is she uh, does she have a drug habit or is she high is she, because I, I don't I just I don't okay she was conceived in China right then Michigan then Atlanta okay I'm waiting to see where the R. Kelly and Aaliyah come in at but here we go okay hold on y'all okay all right and so growing up in, in Grand Rapids did you have both mom and dad in the household for a few years I did um and then not really. Um, after they split up, who was raised by them? Um, you say both of them were cheating? Yes, for each other. Um, How did you find that out? Uh, they let us see it. They let y'all see it? Yeah, they don't care. They get mad at each other, fight. We okay. had his girlfriend now, so we had her Okay, alright. Alright, and so you was raised by grandma for the most part? Yes. Okay. Um, and so growing up, would you say that you had like a fairly normal childhood? Correct. Okay, um, you went to high school? Yes. Graduated? GD. GD? Yes. Okay. Um, and so you moved here in 99. So you were still in, was you still in high school back then? Or middle school? No, I was like? in um, elementary. Elementary? One two, yeah. Okay, so that's when you moved here to Atlanta? Right. What part of Atlanta? Um, down on Oh, Lord, you moved to the hood. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. And so, I mean, how was life growing up over there? Life was very good. It was, uh, I made memories over there. We taught the kids how to play double dutch, hopscotch, and kickball, and all that. I get it. Okay, so hold on, let's slow down. So, you was here in Atlanta. Correct. Right? You say that you turned 18. And you say that you emancipated yourself. I emancipated myself from Grand Rapids, lost the care system. And then I moved back on Greyhound to Atlanta. Okay, so yeah. why did you... Okay, hold why on. Why did you put in foster I'm calling Cap on that because if you're 18, you don't need to emancipate yourself, honey. Because they, they say, congratulations, you're an adult. Good luck. Is that not... Okay. Yeah, I... Um, for a time to play kids. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, and so as far as it goes, so you came down here, and then you ended up um, in, in jail, you say? Um, when I came here, I ended up in jail a couple of years ago for smoking crack cocaine. Ah. Uh, right. But I was uh, not going to smoke. Well, uh, I was crack cocaine. Okay. Maybe. You know, she still is. Nice looking young lady. Uh beautiful eyes. I love the eyes. Uh, but she she seemed like she ready to run and go find something. I'm just um uh, shotgun and he said we were kissing. Well, I get it, but but I'm I'm asking about when you went to when you got locked up when you was younger. You say that you when you got out you was doing some babysitting or something and you ended up going to jail? Yeah, I know what, what happened for her possession. She was selling marijuana and 
she had was doing credit card scamming. Who was she? Um, her name was Nikki. That was my used to be friend's best friend's sister. And her oldest sister had minor children who needed to be cared for while she was at work. So she had three hustles. She was selling pussy, she was selling drugs, and she was credit card scamming, and she was working a job at the fish farm. So when she Hold up. The fish place, she had- I don't know who she talking about, but she doing a lot of talking about what other people have done, like she innocent or something but i mean come on is the r kelly and Aaliyah stuff coming at the end because i don't want to miss what led up to her finding out oh this isn't my real life my real life is me being r kelly and Aaliyah's daughter right okay Is it just me or do you hear the cars and everything in the background better than you can hear her? Son, you've been doing this for a minute and you get hella views. You got hella subscribers and the cash out be off the hook because you you got the right subject playing on people's heartstrings. So I know you could do better with your mic, mic, with your mic situation now. Come on, tighten up, please. Why, did, what was the altercation about him saying that I had a guy in the house named Sean having sex with him in the end of the room and me trying to come on to him while Nikki was asleep in the room and I tried to explain to her he tried to me and have sex with me several times and I keep denying him and he's like how does these other guys in the neighborhood get they dicks up and how do y'all get to have sex and stuff like that and I can't get them I wasn't attracted to him but one because he's from Detroit I don't like Detroit people you know? so was he trying to have sex with you yes he was was you trying to have he sex with him forced, well, and so when, when you told your friend that, what happened? She was just listening like, okay, okay. She, I think she believed him. But she knew deep down inside that I was telling the truth because there were other women who lived with her who also had the same complaint before. Okay. So, I get it. Yeah. All right. So so let's 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 talk about this. So as far as it goes, when was the, what age were you the first time you smoked crack? 18. 18? Yeah. I, I, okay. I was like nine good. before I met Nathan. I'm going to start using the pipe. My, my grandmother told me my father used to blow me shotguns when I was a baby. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ice, yeah, What's your dad in the music industry or something? Yes, he is a famous singer. What's his name? Robert Kelly. Robert Kelly? Yes. Like R. Kelly? So, I mean, some people are going to hear that and they're going to say, okay, I think she might have some mental illness going on. Yeah. Is that what's going on here? No, it's true. It is 100% true. And so, who's your mom? Uh, Leo. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Hey, I don't know. Hey, Legina could be Ken because she, when she say that, she say it just like Ali. I mean, whoa, lasagna. Let's say lasagna because I almost said Aaliyah, but y'all know how lasagna, aka Legina, when she say she, uh, R. Kelly and Aaliyah's daughter. She she be having like this smirk on her face. Did this girl not have? Okay, oh man, listen. Look at her. She playing. Uh, so I mean, have you ever had a history of mental health diagnosis? In the past, uh, bipolar disorder, mood swings. That's it. Depression, yeah, depression, yeah. That's it. Post traumatic stress disorder. That's it. From being a witness to domestic violence and also being a victim of domestic violence. Did anything ever happen to you when you was a child? Yes, a lot of stuff. Hold on. So he slid right past that, which tells me he don't believe it. I mean, what? He didn't even ask her. He just went straight into, do you have some mental health problems? Okay, so he don't believe her. He thinks she lying. He thinks she got mental health problems instead. Uh, I don't know if they're going to come back to it. Let's see. And you know, I one thing I don't like about this channel, I think the guy is a little too invasive. Um, I can't say that I watch it enough to see that he does like help these people. Um, from from the couple of interviews I've seen, he just interviewed them, put their cash app up, and boom. And um, I'm not saying he doesn't do more. I'm just saying that's just from what I've seen. So I haven't seen anything to me that would kind of 
in any way, if possible, warrant all the probing. Because I feel like this is exploitation, you know, just because, you know, pushing people to give out information that could, whether we believe them or not, possibly get them harmed out being just out and open like this on the streets or whatever, easy to find possibly, you know, snitching on people or revealing just personal trauma type stuff and reliving stuff that they probably out here down bad because they constantly thinking about trying to get it. I don't, you know, I just think that he could be, these, I think it's, uh, it, it seems like some exploitation going on, but, I don't know. Domestic violence or weakness as well. Um, I was often depended on to take care of minor children that did not belong to me. Who did the abuse to you? Um, my mother's ex-boyfriend and her ex-husband. My adopted mother. How old were you when that happened? Uh-oh. I was like Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, Legina, a.k.a. Lasagna, calls her uh, alleged biological mother, right? Not, not Aaliyah, but the one who, you know, people are saying, no, this is your real mother. She calls her her second mom. This woman... Did she say what she call it? Did she say her adoptive mom? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, listen, miss. I mean, so at this point, you know, it's been a, a lot of years, 14 years. When was the last time we had like some type of stability? Uh, It's been a couple of years. And so what, what are we doing to try to get ourselves out of this position of homelessness? Um, I'm trying to show America got talent, my talent, you know. What's your talent? Wait, did I, he I, say, I did, he, did he say we twice? Why is he saying we, you know, this woman is, this woman is currently, uh, according to her, carrying triplets. So she's about to have three more children. And she says that she has eight living children that are in Jamaica. She didn't say it was home, but she said they're in protective custody. What what really happened to those eight children? I that's a concern. Cause if she has a problem, mainly C R A C K, and she having all these babies, is she having the babies as leverage or payments to support her habits? Cause y'all know blankheads do that, right? Oh yes they do. Alright, let's go. Give me 20 seconds or something. <laughs> whatever it is, sing, dance, rap, whatever it is. What you got? Okay. Oh, uh, what do you want me to sing right now? This your, this your time. Let's go. Uh, oh, Don't think about it too hard. Just start blowing. Okay. You have a request? Monica? Oh my gosh. Do you think that? All right, y'all. If I if this was live, I'd tell y'all press one in the chat if you think she got talent. Press two if you think she don't. So since it's not live, this is a posted video. I want y'all to tell me in the comments now when she do her thing. What you think? Do you think if she get cleaned up? You know, like Jaguar, right? Jaguar get cleaned up. Y'all seem to believe that she might have a shot at some kind of musical career. I don't know why y'all think that, but you know. You think that she got a shot. Maybe singing in bars or doing jingles or logos or something. I don't know. Um, but as far as in the music, actual music industry, no. That's, that's a definitive no, in my opinion. But this woman is supposed to be the daughter of Aaliyah and R. Kelly. Therefore, by nature, she should have talent. Now, I want to let you guys know, especially if you don't know. The other girl, young lady... Legina Gold, as she goes by, she says Legina Love Gold is her name, but her name is Angela Tuwusu or Watusi or Watusi or something like that. Awuso, I don't know, but you know, around YouTube, they like to call her Lasagna. Now, she is allegedly the daughter of R. Kelly and Aaliyah, and she's done some singing, and you can look that up too. And y'all, it's a no, not just from me, it's a no from everybody. You know, but Jaguar Wright had her ride around giving her singing lessons on camera, like as if there's promise there. So I don't know. I, Jaguar is supposed to be very 
talented and musically inclined and she's supposed to be able to gauge whether or not someone has it and just need training but we didn't hear it you know it, it was very horrible so here we go this is her this is her make it or break it moment right here if this is the daughter of Aaliyah and R. Kelly we gotta see something we gonna see some rhythm we gonna see some nice dance moves Aaliyah could jam. I, can R. Kelly dance? I know he did a lot of humping and gyrating and stuff, but I, I don't think he ever actually danced. Uh, I don't know. But both of them can sing. We know that. So, shh, hey, here we go. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Wait, huh? I'll tell you, yeah, oh, I don't think you should quit your day job. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what, what? Wait, what? I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. Okay, sis. Okay, but you know, I'm actually okay. I'm gonna give. A, I'm gonna tell y'all what I think. <sighs> Honestly, y'all, she better than Legina. Okay, Legina, in my opinion, she don't stand a chance. Jaguar, when you get out, this the daughter you want right here. Okay, if you are gonna try to get her with the singing and the this, this Aaliyah and R. Kelly daughter. She's closer to Aaliyah's complexion. She's a little bit more like she. Could, I don't know. She got she got like a personality to her that I think if if you straighten her up a little bit, and you know I don't know what y'all gonna do with the babies, but I think you might be able to pull this one off because she might be coachable. I can tell she might if she she better than she better than Legina. Ah, uh, she better than Legina. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm gonna tell you, I, I don't think you should quit your day job. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, listen, listen. <laughs> so, so listen. We really appreciate you taking the time to answer all of our questions. Um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate. Do you have a way they can do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Yeah, just on um, social media. My father on Instagram. What's your, what's, what's your social media? My father's. Okay, what's your father's social media? R. Kelly IG. Um, I don't know what his, it's just R. Kelly. Well, he's in jail right now. So what, what about you? Do you have Instagram or Facebook? Uh, you can contact his management team. Wait, wait, wait. Have, um, Hold on. Whoa, wait. Hold on. 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 W
Is that R. Kelly's Instagram? R. Kelly IG? Because she don't sound like... I don't think it's R. Kelly IG. Is that his IG handle? I don't think it is. Do y'all... I'm not even getting ready to look that up. Stop playing. No, I don't think so. Contact his management team. Um, what about... Um, So you, you well, never you, you never had an Instagram? In the past, yeah. On I Facebook? Shut, I shut it down. What was the Instagram? Uh, I don't remember. So many of them. So many? Okay. All right, Miss. Well, listen, like I say, we really appreciate you taking the time answering all of our questions. Um, and we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, all right? Okay, thank you so Make much. Make sure you have a good one, okay, sweetie? Thank you. All right. Man. Okay, y'all. So this is Legina Gold. This is the one who was with Jaguar Wright. Uh, for a good little while and this is the one who has been going viral all over social media saying that she is uh Legina I mean y'all don't it R. Kelly and Aaliyah's daughter in case y'all they don't look alike do they nope now this title says she reached out to Aaliyah family hold on let me check this for y'all hold on I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of you okay so this is on come and get this commentaries channel um, for what I've seen, she's covered a lot of the whole Jaguar right, the Gina Gold situation. Uh, so let's listen to some of what this young lady is saying. Contact my DMs or my email. I've been getting some kind of weird things in my emails. Y'all been tripping on there. I haven't been having me believe in certain things. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Look, I might sound crazy, but I ain't crazy, okay? The prices, it depends on what size canvas I'm doing it on. So what size canvas do you want? And then meet the price for that. First off, they ain't crazy. Don't come in my comments talking about people that's, that's, that's supporting me. You can get out, out of here. I should block you, actually. I should block you. Don't talk about them. Y'all can talk about me, but not anybody else. Don't talk about people in this comments. Don't talk about nobody else. I don't have schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. My doctor never diagnosed me with that. My psychiatrist never did. He gave me a pill because I said I have anxiety. And you know what he did? He gave me a medicine that helps with the anxiety, but he put it as schizophrenic medicine. Unethical though. Because I read the um, I read the um the type of medicine and what kind of cause or effect it will have me later down in life. And it also can cause psychosis. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, you know they, they asked me about you. You know, um, this girl, I, um, she, uh, she seems like she's getting bigger. I told y'all that she, she's sitting there with her belly proud. And according to her, she's somewhere between her late twenties and her, and 30. Uh, that's too young to be let yourself go, sis. You better get on it. Okay. You girl. Because according to what people are saying, she's like African or something. So, girl, you better get them African booty and hips together so you can... Girl, girl, girl. <sighs> well, you, you... And other people, your fans. All right, well, I'm going to go to the police station and go get my knife. Okay. Okay. My phone. Okay. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Hey, if you don't hear from me in two hours, I'll be back. I know. Most bonded people that make this money. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, yes, Jaguar Ray on her way to do one of her famous I'm tripping at the police station episode so let's fast forward there's the people back at home either think I'm they, they don't think I'm crazy they, if they know me they know I'm not lying they know me. if you know y'all hear what I'm she said lying. if you know her you know she not lying the people back at home but she ran from home she said because they was trying to keep her in a mental institution and she told she's her story is people broken at home and all that. Now they was coming to get a the fifty one fifty her yet again. Now she allegedly got banned on TikTok because of this too. And uh, this 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 girl right here, y'all do y'all yeah, listen? Yeah, do y'all know she also? <laughs> she also said that she had, I think two. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Two babies by Drake. Drake, yes, Drake. D D Drake, D you know who Drake? Hey, but one Drake, and he took the babies. She, listen, I will find the video for, but go have some fun because she said it more than once. 
if, if it comes back negative, then somebody change the test. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not, somebody change the test. Because I know who my mother is and I know who my father is. She's talking about the DNA test that she's supposed to have taken, took, going to take, will take, did take, and post the results or tell us the results. Uh, some ancestry tests, not a test she's taken with Aaliyah's actual family or R. Kelly's actual family. She said if it comes back negative, somebody did something to the test. You know, all these people paid off. The doctors paid off. The, you know, her, she got fake nannies and this, that, and the third and blah, blah, blah. And everybody's paid off, but everybody knows she's telling the truth. But she won't go back home because she know they're going to put her in a mental health institution. Okay? All right? All right. And that's it, that on that. And I know who the second family I was raised with. I haven't put Nana's picture on here because I don't look like that guy either. And no no shade to him. Laguna. Okay, person with no pictures on your profile. Ugh. I think everybody should put laughing emojis for these people. Go ahead so they can feel validated. And we get good karma. Or not, if you believe it or not. Just make sure no weirdo do anything to me. I have a peace of mind. When I'm not thinking of you guys or on the hair, I really don't think about you guys. And not to be mean, there's no disrespect. I just don't, I don't, I'm, I'm confused my... as to how someone dark skin can have a, 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 a such bad acne all the time because she is completely broken out like it's a heat rash i don't know what it is but she's been bump face the entire time she's ever been on camera and i just don't understand because you know we tend to have smoother clear skin i mean all you got to do is stay hydrated you know get your fruits i i just I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on but i can from her body it looks like she's probably not you know flushing with hydration and she's probably eating a lot of foods that's clogging her up because you know toxins is trying to escape her skin and they coming out her face because i just don't understand why she don't have smooth skin now i just don't get it and how i can live on her and my dad i think about him and his situation and how people like him are out but they're they're just out hurting people and other people children still and that's facts and people that want to that enjoy comedy and drama don't see the reality of this it's an intense life to live huh have i read my dad in prison no i haven't written a letter to somebody for years almost 10 probably or at least 10 plus what I mean, her face. Pause. This is the girl who yeah. says she is the daughter of Aaliyah and R. Kelly. This, this girl. Just her. She's her. This girl right here. This one. Okay, I'm going to let her go for a little bit, but I'm about to be, uh-uh. People around here got mental illness. They worry about my mental health, and they have mental health that they need to worry about. And if I tell, I mean, you, yeah, you, true. Okay, yes, okay, we okay. all got something going on. But everybody not out here saying I'm the daughter of Leonard Kelly and Drake. I had Drake's babies, and he took the babies. Drake. Then Pusha T had to out Drake for having a, a child. Okay, so what? He might try to keep his babies a secret. But look who the baby mama was. Now, do you think Drake has had multi a lot of women? Yes. Therefore, anytime you sleep with someone, protected or not, birth control measures or not, it's a possibility you could impregnate them, correct? Correct. So he hasn't gotten, he hasn't had, that we know of, children by any of these other many beautiful women financially and probably mentally stable women except for that one woman who we all see is of a certain physical composition right okay but he had this person have two of his babies 
Cause I'm sorry. Cause what? Oh, cause nothing. Yeah. Like I did before they sent me in there. Like I knew I had anxiety issues. It's not normal to have that. And I knew I have trauma. It's not normal to have that. And I know I have to grieve properly. It is not normal to live the life I've lived and not been able to grieve like I should have been able to. Uh, what? Look, I'm telling the truth. People just don't believe me. But I understand because I was claiming other people as my parents. But that's what you do when you're adopted. So, or even um, have other people raising you. you. As a kid, I was a kid when I was with them. I'm sorry, but this look in these eyes, the is, I, it gives me. Uh, uh, I just, I don't, I'm just, I'm gonna let y'all. She got a marriage problem, and it's her only her marriage problem. That's the only problem she has. And that's not really a drama because other people go through divorces. Other people separate, or they might get back together, and that's okay. Problem. She's on my jet. Sorry that you gained mental illness from me stating who my parents are. I'm sorry that you believe in the world that they that they put for you and fed to you, and it wasn't the truth. I'm sorry for that. But you know who else? I'm not the only secret child. I'm not the only secret child in the world of these celebrities. They, you know, and some of us need to be more honest and more responsible. It's a lot of people with the public family. So what she want? She family. want child support? Like, I mean, because you're an adult now. I don't know. I don't know. This, I can't. You know, it is what it is. It's like, That's happening when you're not celebrity, you're not either. Thank you, King. I'm going to, I'm going to, you give the best compliments. And I do appreciate the help that you and Sean did for me, too. Okay, yeah, well. My biological, my given name, um, I am the biological daughter of Alia Halton and Robert Kelly, R. Kelly, and, um, I just want to tell my truth. Wait, y'all think, also tell my mother's y'all think she look like R. Kelly a little bit? Uh, no. Okay. Because I feel like it's time and it's needed. It feel, yeah. I feel that is, as far as when I was younger, because of who my father was and what he did to her and also many other little girls around the world. Well, I don't know around the world, but other little girls. And I was aware of Muhammad's dad because he wasn't there. He didn't even the world. No, I feel like. Okay, so in he, back he of her, reason. those are in the back. Those are the paintings that she did. Um, you know, of her alleged birth mother, Aliyah. One in a million, Aliyah. First, she don't succeed, Aliyah. That, yeah. She's supposed to be singing in this one, I think. So let, let's see it. And a day getting married. Then the rumor Is this was the one that she was singing? pregnant. But Hold on. I thought she was going to sing. Okay. Is this me? Yeah, Is that's a lie. Mind that mind wasn't mind. her. That was somebody else. Let me find her. I'll come into detail. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. So let me show y'all. This is who you know. People are saying are her biological parents. Um, the woman definitely looks a lot like uh, Legina. Okay, if you put those two on the screen versus R. Kelly and Aaliyah on the screen, we know who she looks more like. This picture of her is actually nice, but she looks just like that woman. Okay, let's cut it out. Scorpios. I'm tired of these weird ass Scorpios. All I want to think about is Lou. I'm tired of them. You had a wet dream? No, I did not. Big drink first. Yes. He I got the life. I got the life. Also I got the life. Other people. That's why he's going to prison. She to my Drake. These weak ass niggas going to prison. She just woke up one morning and said Drake got her and got her yeah. pregnant and took the baby. And you know, Jai is the truth teller. She's the truth teller, you guys. Cha. Are we acting like we too good for now? All right, so here, here you'll see an older video of her, and she was talking about her natural life growing up. And, you know, she didn't mention our Kelly Aaliyah, nothing. Let me try to speed this up. Because so. I feel like because I'm in the middle of having, like, my dad is Ghanaian. And my mom, she's from Detroit. 
Michigan. So she grew up, grew up in the hood. Most of my ancestors is in Detroit. Well, my from my mom's side. So I come in the middle. So I get the bullshit. I get the I'm black kid, old oh, African blue scratcher type of shit. Or some little, what is a yo? I do have a little bit of culture different than other people in the black community. That is intriguing. A lot of people nice, but a lot of people smell. Like this brown ass nigga, he's talking about. You're not, you're not from Detroit. You're African. You're not black and African. I'm like, bitch, I was born here. And bitch. <laughs> She sound like, like she just she just went off on in, in the woods so she can get on the camera and cuss. Okay, I'm I'm done, y'all. Peace.